This is the Wireless Bone Conduction Stethoscope by Stephen Bausch and Armand Latifi. The traditional stethoscope is used for auscultation, or hearing the body sounds in a non-invasive way to understand a person's health. You can hear heart sounds, lung sounds, stomach sounds. There, it has many uses and it is a very well-known and well-used tool. We decided that there were two improvements we can make upon the stethoscope. First of all, we made it electronic and therefore wireless so that a doctor does not need to be tethered to their patient. The patient or nurse can hold the stethoscope on, the, on themselves and the doctor can hear from up to 15 feet away. Second of all, we decided that we would try to use bone conduction instead of normal hearing methods. And the benefits of bone conduction is a new technology. Instead of vibrating your eardrums and using up your hearing, it vibrates your skull, which goes directly into your inner ear and ignores the outer ear. So if you have certain hearing problems, like a perforated eardrum, then you will still be able to hear perfectly fine with a bone conduction stethoscope. Now this, about one in five people has some sort of hearing loss. So this is very useful for a lot of different doctors, especially since stethoscopes are already so hard to hear if you don't have a very high quality and expensive stethoscope. Now I'll perform a demonstration. So this uses Bluetooth and the devices are already paired together. The device goes over your head and hangs over your ears. It does not cover your ear holes since it vibrates your skull. And then after that, you just listen into heart sounds or lung sounds. And I am able to hear it. So, this is our project, the Wireless Bone Conduction Stethoscope. Wireless Bone Conduction Stethoscope can be broken down into three easy to understand parts. So first of all, we have the sensor which is we use a regular stethoscope head to hear heartbeat sounds. And combined with that, we have a electric microphone uh, in here and wired through the tubing. So that is the sensor. Uh, aside from this stethoscope head, you can also use a piezoelectric pressure sensor, but for ease of demonstration in our project, we were using the steth traditional stethoscope head. The second part is the amplification and filtering of the heart sounds. And that is all the magic done in here. So in order to be able to hear heartbeat sounds, we had to amplify the sound about 200 times uh, just to be able to hear the sounds. So we are running 200 times amplification and heartbeat sounds are in the frequency of 20 to 200 hertz, while lung sounds can go up to 2,000 hertz. So filtering, we use a low-pass filter in order to uh, cut out the higher frequency sounds. The third part is the Bluetooth transmitter. So we have it connected to Bluetooth. So you can connect it to any headset or any uh, phone with Bluetooth capabilities to be able to hear and record these heartbeat and lung sounds.